Hey guys, it's Steve here at Hangster's Hot Rods. And before we get to our newest addition to our inventory, we're gonna go over some new things that we're doing here at Hangster's. If you wanna purchase a vehicle from us, you see it on our website at www.hangsters.com. And maybe it doesn't have some features that you would like it to have, and just keeping you from uh, calling us up and purchasing it from us, we can make those changes happen for you. If you wanna change wheels and tires, you wanna change a hood, Maybe you want to put some striping on a vehicle. Maybe you want fuel injection on it. Maybe you want air conditioning. We can do fuel injection here. We can do vintage air air conditioning. We can do wheels and tires, exhaust systems, gauges, so on and so on. Just give us a call and we'll get you a quote of what it would be to make those changes for you to have that vehicle perfect for you. We also want to remind everyone that shipping and powertrain warranty are included in mostly all the vehicles on our website. Shipping is anywhere in the 48 states. And the powertrain warranty is three months or 3,000 miles, engine transmission differential. Of course, if it's a four-wheel drive vehicle you're going to be getting from us, it would include transfer case and front diff and so on. Um, that is internally lubricated parts of those components. Also, we want to remind everyone, um, we do have financing on our website. You go next to the vehicles on the site at www.hangsters.com. Click on the financing tab, fill out the application. Hit submit or enter down at the bottom left. That gets sent to us. We send them out and then we go from there. Also, if you want to go to YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll get to see our current inventory videos and so on. There's maybe some videos of our past inventories. So you can get a sense, a feel of what we have here at Hangsters Hot Rods. Well, without hesitating anymore, we're going to move on to our newest edition. What we have here is a 1966 Ford Mustang Fastback. Uh, first thing you notice about this vehicle is the paint. It is in pearl white. Really beautiful, uh, really has a nice shine to it, nice and smooth the whole way around. Um, second thing you notice is the wheels and tires. Uh, we have the American Racing Torque Thrust wheels with the gray centers and the polished lip. And then we got the BF Goodrich Radial TA raised white letter tires and those are 14 inch the whole way around. Our first gap, driver's side between the front fender and door. Very even. Going down, you can see your body lines line up very nicely. And of course, we have the black side striping down here on the lower body and the chrome rocker molding. Um, our driver's side windshield, no chips and cracks in that. I also want to point out, we do have the uh, vent cover here, your cow cover. Easily removable, you just do a little quarter turn, you lift it up, keeps the water and dirt from getting down in there. It's a nice little aftermarket feature. Um, our driver's side glass, no chips and cracks. Also slightly tinted, and I do want to point out some custom touches on here. We got some etching on the windows here. We got some etching right here. And then of course we got the etched horse running on the side of the window here as well. Um, coming up to our second gap driver's side, door to quarter panel very even going down you see your gaps right here here and here also we got the door protector on the side there as well what i'm going to do now is open up the driver's side door we'll go over everything in the interior it does have the correct aqua interior in it you got the uh, vinyl front buckets and rears Dash is in good shape, door panels are in great shape. It is a factory air conditioning car, which you can see the air conditioning unit there in front of the floor mounted automatic shifter. Moving along. Coming up to the rear of the car here. Back window, no chips and cracks. Our trunk gap, very nice and even the whole way around. The rear bumper chrome is in great shape. Got a little bit of scratching here and there, but overall, really nice condition. Of course, we got the dual exhaust sticking out down there as well. What I'm gonna do now is open up the driver's side. I mean, open up the trunk here. Our weather stripping here on the underside of the trunk, intact the whole way around. Our jams. Also in good shape there. Down here in the trunk floor, the whole center section of the floor, of course, is your fuel tank. On this model year, that is how it is made. The tank is the center of the floor. Floor here, you got your grommets on both sides. You got your mount, 
Great shape the whole way around in the floor here. Of course, there's your folding rear seat back there as well. Moving along. Coming to the passenger side. Again, the paint. Nice shine, gloss to it the whole way around. Really reflects with that pearl. Coming up to the passenger side first gap. Oh, one thing I do want to point out on these here, fastbacks, I love fastbacks. These are functional. You do have a slide on the inside of the car. You could open those up internally. Now our first gap passenger side, quarter panel to door. Pretty even going down. Body line there, there, and there. And of course, there's our lower body striping and chrome rocker molding as the other side has as well. Passenger side glass, no chips and cracks, and slightly tinted. Of course, on this side, we also have the etching on the wing window. What I'm going to do now is open up the passenger side door. We'll get a look at the interior from this point of view. See, we do have front seat belts. You can see uh, the good look at the dash there, the uh, AC unit there. Dash pads, very nice condition. The seats are in great shape. Moving along, coming up to second gap passenger side, door to front fender. There, even going down, you see your body lines there, there, and there. Passenger side of windshield, no chips and cracks. <clears throat> Hood gapping parallel to the fenders and cow area, very nice the whole way around. Coming up to the front bumper. Chrome's in good shape. You do have a little bit of scratching here and there overall, but not too bad. Still in good shape. The grill, great condition. Headlight bezels and so on in great shape as well. What I'm going to do now is open up the uh, hood there. We're going to go over everything in the engine bay. Underneath the hood here, underneath the hood in white. Of course, your aprons, firewall, rad support all in black. What we have here is a 289 small block Ford V8 engine. We got the Excel uh, eight millimeter wires. We got the chrome dress up kit for the valve covers, the engine air cleaner and your breathers and so on. We have power steering, manual brakes, and of course, here's your air conditioning unit as well. We do have a two barrel carb, your stock uh, style cast intake. Great running little motor here. Of course, these cars are very light. 289, of course, a very popular, well known engine. What we're going to do now, guys, we're going to put this up in the air, show you the undercarriage. Hey, guys, we got our 66 Mustang up in the air. We're going to go through the undercarriage components as we normally do. Starting at the front, control arms look to be of a stock style. We do have a front sway bar on the vehicle. Um, our belly bar looks really good. Um, we have drum brakes on the front and back. So drum brakes the whole way around. Um, our front frame sections look good. And look good. Um, we have dual exhaust on the vehicle coming off the stock style manifolds and the dual mufflers. And we'll get a better view of those as we go back. Our oil pan on our 289. Our transmission pan on our C4 automatic. And our output seal, nice and dry. I always see leaks on any of those. Um, our transmission cross member, that looks really good as well. We got our e-brake cables coming here, going back to both wheels. And like I said, here's our dual exhaust. Going back, um, our floor, from this point on, you got all your embossments, your drains, and here as well. Coming back here midway, we got all of our drains there. All of our embossments, the floor looks really good. As you can see, air, all the embossments are there. It's a very nice condition. Our exhaust coming back. And there's our uh, door mufflers, stock style mufflers, our input seal, and our gear set seal. Nice and dry. I don't see any leaks on either of those either. 
Um, we do have leaf spring suspension on the back of the car with air shocks. So we do have the air shocks, which of course is nice. You can adjust the height of the car up and down very easily. Um, our front spring mounts look good. And look good. Our rear frame sections look good. and look good. Like I said, we got drum brakes on the back. We got our air shocks here. Our floor up above the differential, really nice. Got all your mounts, indentations, and so on. It's all there. That all looks really good. Our exhaust comes up, wraps around, and comes out on either side of the fuel tank here. Our rear hangers or shackles for our leaf springs. Both look good there. Um, all in all, looks really good under here. Like I said, well, before I move on, of course, here is your fuel tank. And as we had showed above, uh, this is part of your floor on this model year. So you can see the tank here covered in a black. That looks really good also. Um, well, that's it. Everything looks really good under here. What we're going to do now is drop it down, fire it up so you can hear the engine run.